Oh, hello. Th am I through to Torquay Kingdom Hall? Uh, yes. Oh, right. Um, I don't know if it's convenient to speak at the moment or whether you're at work and it's inconvenient. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, I've been reading the literature and I'm, I'm really puzzled about Christendom because the literature seems to speak in a bit of a demeaning term about the Christian churches of Christendom being the Catholic and the Protestant churches. I'm thinking of the... I've, I've been reading the book Revelation, the grand climax, it is at hand. And it, it talks in this way on page 235. And I'm a bit shocked. OK. Can I ask how you, how you got this number? Um, um, yes, from the Charity Commission website. This was the okay. link for the contact for Torquay Kingdom Hall. And, and sorry, what's your name, please? My name is John. John. OK. Hi, John. Hi. Um, uh, have you visited one of our Kingdom Halls? Oh, I visited many years ago, yes, yes. OK. Oh, we'll invite you to, to visit one of our Kingdom Halls, and that might be the best way to get uh, yes. the answers to your question. But I don't attend any religious meetings. I, I gave up I gave but, years ago. I used to be an evangelical yeah. Christian. I, I just don't have the time. And again, you know, you just spend hours wasting your time attending these meetings and come back next week, you know, I'd answer the question next week. And, and no one answers any question because no one actually even cares. <laughs> That's my experience okay. with the evangelicals. Yeah, okay. Well, well if, if you're interested in what uh, Jehovah's Witnesses teach as opposed to the evangelicals, um, feel free to attend one of our meetings. Yeah, I've just you, told you I don't. I don't. Address. I've just told you I don't attend any religious meetings. I don't have the time to waste, because no okay. one. You don't learn anything in any of these meetings. When I went to the evangelical church, nobody answers any questions. They just want you to attend more meetings and more meetings and dedicate your life to their religious system, uh, pay your tithe. Um, hand out tracts and do clean the church and do various things, but no one answers any questions. And I, I've got questions I don't understand. You see, and I, could you could you help? Uh, not over the phone, I can. But again, if you attend one of our meetings, we could uh, we could help you then. I don't attend religious meetings. I made a conscious okay. decision to walk away from the evangelical church 10 years ago because it was a total waste of my time. They just okay. waste your time on religious meetings that go on and on and on, and nobody answers any questions. They just well, want they you to attend more, more meetings. Yeah, because what I was thinking is if you're able to attend one of our meetings, uh, you could talk with uh, one of the individuals there to set up uh, a Bible study to discuss some of these questions that you have. Well, I'm, I'm, I can set up a Bible study now with you. Could, could you explain? Because you, you see, this book, it seems to teach that the churches of what they call Christendom, on page 235, um, the Catholic and the Protestant churches, they seem to be, the book seems to be saying that they're of the devil. They're, they're part of this whore, this harlot church, it talks about, this, this great harlot is the chapter heading. And it seems to say this chap, this harlot, would be the um, churches of the world. And I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of a bit shocked. I mean, look, let me, let's read it to you. Um, Judging the infamous harlot, chapter 33, page 235. <laughs> Please try later or send a text. This person's phone is switched off. Please try later or send a text. 